Like every Ash Wednesday, the penitential celebration began here in the Basilica of St. Anselm on Aventine Hill. The Pope participated in a procession from this church to the Basilica of St. Sabina, a few meters away. However, it is entirely uphill and Pope Francis makes it in silence, which symbolizes the penitential recollection and proper attitude of the time of Lent. Pope Francis celebrated the Mass in this other basilica on the Aventine Hill accompanied by some cardinals of the Roman Curia. During his homily, he explained the definition of Lent. La quaresima è la strada della schiavitù, dalla schiavitù alla libertà, dalla sofferenza alla gioia, dalla morte alla vita. The Pope recalled that men were created from a breath of the life of God, a new air that everyone needs in a world with a vicious atmosphere that causes suffocation. La fissia soffocante provocata dai nostri egoismi. La fissia soffocante generata da meschine ambizioni e silenziose indifferenze. La fissia che soffoca lo spirito, restringe l'orizzonte e anestetizza il palpito del cuore. Ci sembra normale perché ci siamo abituati a respirare un'aria in cui è rarefatta la speranza aria di tristezza e di rassegnazione, aria soffocante di panico e di ostilità. Pope Francis further assured that Lent is a time to flee from hypocrisy and to practice heartfelt fasting, almsgiving and prayer. La Quaresima è il tempo di dire no. No alla sfissia di una preghiera che ci tranquillizzi la coscienza di un'elemosina che ci lasci soddisfatti, di un digiuno che ci faccia sentire a posto. He invited the Church to live Lent as a time of compassion, a time to breathe again and open the heart to the breath of divine life. After the homily, the time came for ashes. Cardinal Joseph Tomko, the pastor of this basilica, put the ashes on the head of the Pope. The Pope, in turn, did the same with the cardinals who accompanied him on the altar. The ashes of the ceremony, according to Pope Francis, remind men of dust, but of a dust that has been molded by the loving hands of God.